Oh, that looks crude, familiar. You got it? Yep. Yeah, you pick up a right. crude club for the thing with wheeling. So, I'm going to cut the recording here on my side. Dan, you're going to be picking up, and then you can Hope just you send it. me... You get yes. another 1,500 experience points, by the way. Oh, I get 1,500? All right. Yeah. I'll add that. That'll be quick. for the whole session for everyone at the end. All right. All right. Uh, so, uh, I'm searching the area. Right. So, those bodies you inspect, you find a bunch oh, of clubs. Oh, we don't the crates and stuff. I was trying to see if there's any, like, what, what was here. Oh, uh, well, the crates you're inspecting, it just looks like junk. Utter junk. Right. Nothing of use to you. Okay. I will see you guys next week. Yeah, see ya. Human remains. See ya. You find a lot Those of crates. Human, human remains. You find... Uh... Signs. Say again? Signs, like, on the doorways, or like a map. You don't see anything like that. Cool. Breaching what? auger it is. <laughs> Time to start looking through the breaching auger again. Are uh, we good to keep moving? I think so. No one's injured. Everyone's good. Yep. So you guys gonna breach, yep. the, breach the door? I'm gonna look through it with the breaching auger to see if we see anything. Actually, who's a uh, who's our uh, breaching expert? Uh, we have a breaching expert. Technically, what, uh, me and Brissor. <laughs> which which uh, wall yeah. are you which wall are you looking through? I'm and looking I'll... through this door. Oh, the door itself? Okay. Yeah, I'm looking through, like, on left and right of the door. So there's the door. Uh, it's not open, but it's still closed. But that's what you can okay. see. Cool. All right. Uh, I don't have access to Des's character sheet. I gave it to everyone. We can control the token, but we can't see the sheet. Oh, well, give me... And while he's peering through of that, I'm going to use sign assigns to determine the location of any of these more... Yeah, I people. see something. Yeah, you see it. So something you... organic out there. Oh, I can see oh, it looking through the breaching auger. Uh, no, no, no. What does that breaching auger do? How does it see? It just it looks through. Here, let me up a little bit. Oh, oh, oh the binoculars things. Right. Yeah, the binocular thing. Yeah, because these guys are bending light around them. I, yeah, I don't think I can see them if they're invisible. Got it. Um, right. But with my sign of science. You know generally one thing. I there. do. I know the exact position of anyone using the warp. And go ahead, let me do trap master because you can do concealment because he may just uh, mess it up. You never know. Okay, so you gotta beat that, and I don't think you can, right? So you don't physically see it, but you know, uh, yell mug that there is something, two somethings on the other side of that that uh, doorway. And I know their exact so locations see. as well. Okay, yeah. so here's what it says: uh, things like energy fields, very very thick bulkheads. Uh, it's a it's a warp field. So I yeah, then, no, I can't. I wouldn't. Do, I can't see through that. I, I well, so I see it as a blob, but I can't see through the blob. So I just see a weird like marker on the on the scope, where I it just can't see through it. Okay, which could okay. be interpreted as anything, because yeah. I haven't yet like we haven't identified that. So there's a weird blob there, but I don't see anything like else. Okay, you get check see. check through the walls as well. Yes, I'm gonna do a three sixty. So there's uh left or right wall you're gonna be looking through. Uh, I'm gonna look to the right. I'm gonna move closer to the wall so I can get a little further. Cool. Okay, so I see that there's a hallway up there, something. Nothing here to the hard right, and I'm just gonna walk over to the left a little bit as I can left. I'm presuming that's just gonna be a hallway from what I saw from the initial thing. Yeah. You, gonna, okay. you look at you looking at the hallway. Yeah. Give me a second. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like there's a hallway. Yeah, here. It, a, it looks like it goes straight ahead. There's and the left. There's a hallway that goes left and right as well. I see. It looks like there's two doors mirrored how our thing is here. With a door here and a door here on the other side of the corridor. This is to everyone here. All right. Well, there's three entities to our right, so we don't need to go that way. Unless so that's where we need to go. And so we want to go through the left side door. We should at so least... we don't have to waste more time with combat. Yeah, we should, we should at least or, start. Or we pop a door and throw a grenade. Or, which way do we need to go, Mr. Tour Guide? Uh, north. 
Either way, we're going to probably. You're, you're asking him? You get, did you give Tyron the, the coordinates to those guys? I mean, we, wow. we can, but like he's uh, our way through. Let's, uh, let's bring him in. On, he should be on our Vox uh, channel now. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, uh, I brought him on the Vox. I gave him our Vox channel. So he would have received those coordinates with us. You guys are sharing that information too, because he's not in your. I would imagine you're not on your squad channel. You guys just in general comms. I with gave him. Yeah, that's right. No, no, no. I gave him. I gave him tertiary channel. That's right. Before we came into the sewers. Uh, well, do you want to bring him onto one of our primary box channels and give him the coordinates? I mean, we can give him the coordinates about bringing him onto the primary box channel. That's why I was thinking like the secondary. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So. <laughs> He's thinking. Uh, he's gonna do a nav check. Give me a second. How do you roll on predator? Oh, yep. Uh, there's a way. Uh. He can definitely get up, get get us up there. There's an access tunnel to the left. Uh, the more direct route is to the right. Access tunnel will take a little bit more time. We do have time to We've spare. We've got about four hours total. Right, he says it's like a 20 minute detour. Because we spent about at least 10 minutes dealing with this stuff. Not that long, maybe five yeah. minutes. Yeah, I'm just saying we got four minutes, five cents, or sorry, four minutes. <laughs> if we four go, hours, five if minutes. we go the direct route, we, we might take a, just as long. Yeah, so do we, we want to go the alternate route to the left. Uh, let's go the alternate route. Yeah. Also, I still don't have the access to Virlo's character sheet. He won't, yeah, give me a second. Uh, I will use the yeah when you're. Done. I'm gonna use the breaching auger and just check. I already saw part of this though. Any uh, any life senses out there, sir? Mr. Psychoscience. No. Very well. Looks clear. Yep. Well, uh, hold up. <laughs> Your character. What'd you get? Eighty-seven. How bad is it? Eighty-seven. Do you do you see the degrees of success? That's how bad it is. Okay, yeah, I see. Just the one. Okay, so you you think there's at least two to the left? What about the breaching auger. Are you gonna breach your auger? Auger it? Yeah. it? yeah, it's just a. I don't know why I'm holding my hand up like you can see it, but you can't. Okay, so yep, just corridor straight across, and then a. What should we call it? A uh, tunnel. All right. Uh, you yeah. can confirm what he said. Actually, no. Uh, you're gonna try to confirm what he said and look for something. Uh, yeah. Am I seeing little like pillar things of like that I can't see through out here? You see some blobs out there, like the uh, on the other side. Oh, the little. Okay, so little like things I can't see through. Right. So you're gonna. Okay. So that's yeah. That's what the creatures would show up to me on the breaching auger. If it was like a regular unshielded thing, I would just see like a flesh and bone. Right. You so. see blobs in the hallway. Very well. All right, so there should be something on here then, too. As far as you're aware, yep. All right, uh, well, I guess we're breaching then. And we're pull Well, do we just want to open the door nice and sl slowly and see if we can't get the jump on whatever's out there? Right, so you're pushing the button. Eric, ladies, we're good with me pushing the button? Yep, push it. I push the button. Pull the lever, Kronk. Wrong lever. Hang on, hang on. Where is it? I gotta find it. I'm terrible at this. But hang on. No, no, no. There's a thing. There, there's actually a thing to push the button. No, 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 no. Not that thing. That okay. would be funny. <laughs> I am silent moving. Well, there is actually an interact button. I think somewhere. Uh. <laughs> probably, but no. I'm going to try and silent move across to like out here. 
page. Boop, boop. 1.2 for the silent moves. That's a successful silent move. Right, uh, let's see. With Bristol Royal on my shoulder. What was your... Oh, that one. Aha. He asked, okay. what are you guys, he asked, what are you guys doing? Let's see here over the Vox channel over uh, Tyron. Wait, from who? From what? Dorian. Oh, Dorian asked that? Yeah, what are you guys oh. doing? Question mark? <laughs> yeah, he's like, it's clear. Ah, yes, and how many of these other things did you see before we went? Hmm? Hmm? Did you see every single one of them perfectly? <laughs> if you were able to, I'd have very large suspicions about you, my friend. Oh, really? They don't come this way. They were in this room, though. It'd be weird if they weren't in this hallway when I saw them on the other side of the hallway. Your logic isn't very sound there, Torian. No, Your he tells you. Isn't very logic. I'm gonna do awareness here. You oh. observing him? Awareness ar around my area. Yeah, you don't see anything uh, out of the ordinary. Presuming I have the same response. But no, he's cool. basically te he's basically telling you yes, the elevator is like a death trap. That's why I told you to be careful. But he's, okay. he's, he's telling you this pathway he takes. They oh, for whatever reason quick. avoid. Real quick, uh, uh, this, this door sealed. This door sealed. <laughs> and then I'm gonna keep moving forward. Oh, the door is open. Come on, the north. Yeah, it's open to you. No, no, I was saying I'm sealing these two doors. Oh, okay. I will, here, I'll just I'll just do this real quick for whenever I need that. Yeah. Boop. Boop. Sealed. Sealed. Whenever last person through that. You try to you try to pop the door to the north. Nothing happens. So. Very well. But the southern door, one of them is operational. It's like it's old and cruddy. I need to seal these doors behind us as we go. Which way, Lieutenant? This way. Are you guys observing your surroundings as you're going in? Oh, I did it in awareness. Okay. You don't see um, anything. This is going to take me a minute to get through. That's a very narrow doorway. Uh, I'll it's, let everyone else go in case I get stuck. It's just wide enough for you. Okay. As you enter this room... You see a collage of symbols on the walls. Oh, hang on. Kowalski, analysis. Analysis, Kowalski. Oh, the first awareness should be very low, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, that's what, you, that's what you see. Bunch of... These bunch of heretic symbols? Symbols. At a glance. Uh, in fact, do a will save minus 60 as you enter this room. For who? Everyone, or just... Just him. Okay. Just Karen. I'm about to say my normal, uh, my normal thing that I've been dealing with. Mm-hmm. Minus sixty. Bring this right back. You got you did a minus sixty on that too, and you still succeeded. That's crazy. It's, it's the same st one as before, right? The same will saves I've been doing. We'll save, but minus, minus 60 to it. You'd still pass the 1.8. Uh, All the other ones have been a minus, minus 30. It's the um, fucking bonus that what that he gave me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so as you enter this room, you can tell something deep in this suit despises being in here. Absolutely hates it. Like, it's tearing it apart, almost. As uh, you're coming so in. I do uh, look on those symbols. Go for it. 
so I got Heresy, Xenos, Traitor Legion, Legend, Archaic. Where do you think those work? Okay, we're going to do Heresy first. Uh, if I can click to the right thing. No me gusta. Let's try this one. You get for heresy, but I did get something for traitor legions. Uh, you think it might be heretical. Uh, it's a traitor legion. You you're like, nope, this ain't a traitor legion symbol okay, or so any anything like that. Very well. right. I don't like it. We should purge it. Right, uh, Moth, is your guy doing anything? We shouldn't anything? waste our time with this. Just move. <laughs> And do another will save as you're moving to the room. <laughs> Minus 60 as well. Okay. He comes this way. I didn't have Ericlades. I would be failing these, I think. Right. You could just feel... You're, you could feel this suit is resisting as you're pushing through this thing. And it's slowly... I'm going to mentally tell it we're going to purge it. Right, so reduce your speed by half as you're moving through. You're moving extra slow. Boom. Boom. And uh, Moth, are you observing the walls too? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm falling asleep. How are you? I'm falling asleep. Okay. And you don't know jack shit. Anyways, pop over here. He points to the points to this tube, and he opens a hatch. He said, "This is the way through." Virla will venture in forth first. Send the scout. Yep. We going in what this hatch right here? Uh, let him roll his concealment into the pipe. In, 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 into the pipe itself. Uh, oh, okay. the, the hatch on the pipe. I am now inside of a pipe. Yeah, it's massive. You're able to crawl through it. Um, do another will's power save as you're approaching this. And then, are you going through, Moth? Yep. Who's up next? Who's going through next? I guess I will. Okay. Uh, I think, oh, fine. I will next, after the Minega. Uh, Karnash will. I will go last. Okay. Heracles, when you go in? Uh, I guess no. Moth? Yep. And then. Yep. Yeah. The last one through. Suit <laughs> does not like confined spaces. No. And as you come out, do another willpower save. You can tell something's absolutely boiling in this suit. <laughs> Really doesn't like this. Mm -mm. Feels like you're. Oh. Feels like the suit's in pain. I think I see what it is. Oh, whatever. Uh. Yeah, you see chaos space marines. They look like they're on being crucified. Oh, these three are being crucified. Yeah, they're up on like a cross and just strapped to it. They are very much alive and there's just blood running down their running down their eyes. Someone definitely like took the time to impale them on this cross, all of them, all three of them. Huh. How do the crosses look from afar? Are they crude? Are they like Oh, it's like uh, crude, I imagine. Just bits and pieces around this area of metal that they slammed in the ground and then form crosses. Okay. Slammed metal through ferrocrete? That's something that's very, very strong. Yep. Well, the only stairs are on the other side of these crucified heretics. So either we jump down and just move across. Yeah, 
there that is there is the only way down, right? That's I don't know how high up this ledge we're on is. Uh not that high at all. You can literally step down it. Okay. Well do you just wanna step down and uh keep it to the north? Yep. Doosh. You guys do anything with the, Do anything with the heretics or no? Just let them the just, hang there? Just, just let them let them uh suffer. Suffer. Yeah. Alright. Coming, Moth? It's probably asleep. No, oh, he's here. Oh, no. Oh. No, he's alive. He, he's, uh, every time I move, he's been teleporting behind me. He goes, here we are. Am I still moving slow? Or... Hey, you feel, your suit feels better and better as it's moving away from that air, that room, that tunnel. I am ooh, mentally uh, telling ooh. the suit that we are, uh, we are yeah. getting cleansed. Yeah, I see him too. Do we, though? We've got three contacts to the east. Four, actually. Or to the right of the map. You yeah. also see them uh, in crosses. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, a second yeah. should be with your low doing the awareness. So I kept messing it up. <clears throat> Yeah, so two of these to the north, or these things to the north should be lighting up as friendlies. And then you hear... Glad you made it. <laughs> Excellent work. And he tells you he's getting a little spice. Doing. Yeah, he's getting a little spicy. We ambushed this uh, patrol down here. <clears throat> Thought we'd keep them alive for you guys to interrogate them. They had some intel, I imagine. Karnov is so proud. We have a psyker. Not that kind of psyker. I don't know that. I've just said it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he, he tells you that some creature... Also, before you assume anything else, no, I can't do telepathy. He's no. lying. He totally can. He's so <laughs> He definitely can. So they, yeah, they Surrounded tell you... Surrounded by idiots. Yeah, they told you as they're... <laughs> Yeah, they kind of tell you the herring story what happened as they were following you guys, and you guys were doing all these things with the suit. Something dragged them away, and they're uh, felt like they fell forever. <laughs> they fought them off, and then they encountered this chaos patrol down here. Interesting. Right. Um, they were hunting an artifact of some sort. Ah, just you gotta try and command, just command the uh, two goobers that are alive there to tell me more about what they were doing. Please work. There we go. Well, that'd be a will willingness save because they don't want to tell you jack doodly. Keep looking over and seeing what time it is, and it throws me off because I'm used to it being like seven or eight right now. What they do don't... you know? It is seven or eight right now. Right, and uh, <sighs> we were just sitting here under orders to retrieve something. It's the only thing I'm going to tell you. Mm. I look the current off. I turn around. Because you've got the interrogate skill, right? I yeah, don't. I have intimidation. Um, I mean, you can try that. I've got command, but I can only command them so much. I can, right. I can try to intimidate the shit out of them. I don't know. Intimidate the shit out of them. All right. Uh, let me... Uh... Actually, can you give me a possibility shield for a moment? <laughs> ah, sure. Uh, hang on. Uh... Bam. Possibility shield. Awesome. And I did that restricted. Intimidated. And that is a will opposing willpower check? Uh, I guess so, sure. However, intimidate works. Uh, let me quickly check. Right? Free willpower. Nice. Fail. Yeah, they failed. So, he kind of looks at you, Karen, looks at the other. He says, we were just sent to retrieve the artifact. I have no idea what it is. How do you retrieve? Tell me now. I don't know. Mm -hmm. He has no idea what it is. That's all he tells you. 
no idea what it is. We were sent to retrieve it. I'm going to open a private box to Eric, please. This suit oh, did I not know. like the room we were just in. It felt you mean, strange. Like it didn't like the fact that Chaos Marines were strung up, or... It, that in the room before, the so system was on the wall. It didn't like it. It was hard to control it. It was sluggish. Have you felt that your uh, suit hates chaos or is more like, oh, yay, chaos? A bit of both. Okay, well, that tells me nothing. Great. <laughs> I, was, I was half hoping that a, a certain someone would give me a wink, wink, nudge, nudge on that. Because I wanted you to tell me what you were perception was of that is yeah it feels like the suit yeah it's like okay cool regular chaos but it doesn't necessarily like it something in one of those rooms though was completely different to it and it did not like that at all like when i when when we're killing heretics the suit is happy when we're not doing anything though it's it gets bored it wants bloodshed so, like, probably corn influence, which means that those sigils and the fact that these corn marines are strung up, it's probably slimish. Oh, it could be any of the other gods, but that means there might be more than just a corn presence here. But something here, it almost felt either pulled or affra too afraid to move the suit. I had to will it to move. If they're here for an artifact and there is a corridor that the regular creatures down here avoid. Mm -hmm. Creatures that are warped touched. Warp touched. I feel like yeah. that might be yeah, I agree. We're gonna have to investigate this. However, target acquired. Stand by. <laughs> that's that's me. Firing. <laughs> Stand by. Shutting down. Back to the back to the fox. To be fair, I think I said that out loud into the private fox to Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore that. I'm Eric just watching the hit the gun on his shield, spazzing aiming around. And you're here. <laughs> and I'm just putting two and two together, like. <laughs> there are three machine spirits, mm -hmm. and they don't like one another. That said, uh, Ericles, we have, by my mission counter, three hours and forty-five minutes. I agree. This is a decision point we have here. It's either go after my brothers, or go after this artifact. It's the only time we have for both. We, we could ask the forces on the planet to try and move in to save your brothers so we could go to the secondary objective. But with the way things are and their strength, I doubt that would work. Yes, yeah, it would not succeed. Call. We can do either or. Uh, Here, they had this on, on them. Prepared for both of these missions. <laughs> what is this? Okay, uh, well, looks like we do have time to do both missions. <laughs> well, well, Eric, ladies, I'm gonna. I turn and I, I hand the object that the trainees just fucking found. Well, they, they, they kind of, they tell you, no, these guys, this this squad had some sort of uh, artifact on them. Mm. And they're searching for something else. Very not sure, okay. Not yeah. sure. Not sure what. Would you like to? I guess I'll let you and the. Uh, yes, I would like to examine this. Uh, what should I be rolling to examine this with? <laughs> While he examines, I'm gonna pee. <laughs> <laughs> not in the suit. <laughs> in the suit. <laughs> well, right. that, that is how they function. Uh, you don't need to tell us that, Karen. We <laughs> we all do it. It's it's just a part of the suit. It's what we do. Yeah. 
Uh, would it be what a sign of silence roll in this? Yeah, go for it. Bam. Bam. I know that shit out of this. What do I get from this artifact? The way you... One second, you see so your. You, it emits an aura of ominous glow, indicating of its immense and latent power. You get, you get a sense it's extremely powerful in the warp. And what kind of check was yours again? Sign of signs. Yeah. Six point six degrees of success. Oh, wait. Doesn't tell you. Doesn't tell you what exactly it is. You can tell it's very whatever it is. It's very destructive, very powerful, and it resonates with the warp. It's the, a void grenade. Does Karnoff know what that is, as well? I can't be stood up by this. Wait, lore forbidden. Yeah, I don't have. That. Okay, I, I'm gonna get stood up by this. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. I'm just gonna, Hang on. No, no, no. just like, just not in agree to whatever he says. Wait. Yep, yeah, I knew that too. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, I mean, science science wait, tells you exactly wait. what about artifact. Then I'll give you that information. Xenos. All right. And the lore. Um, Ow. Who got find it again? Yeah. So basically, I wrote the road on like. Um... You know its name? It's a uh, it's a heart of fury. It's the name of the of this artifact. Have I seen this before? Uh, you vaguely remember, uh, it was crafted possibly sometime during the Horus Heresy. Have I read about that, or like, have I heard about it, or? Yeah, you okay. heard about it. Okay. I heard about it from during your training. Okay. When you're on the the uh, towers, you heard something about it. Okay, very good. Noted. Said heresy. So your guy got two point eight. The wrong button. Yeah. During the Horus Heresy. Well, okay, you know its origin. It was crafted during the Horus Heresy, designed by the renegade tech priest who infused the core with both advanced technology and warp infused energies. Um, it's been part of several conflicts and it was lost uh, in time. Uh, possibly somewhere out in this region. You're not sure, quite sure about where it was lost. Interesting. What was it called again? Heart of Fury? And that's just this artifact, but it's not the one that they were looking for. Yeah. This just happens to be another so, artifact. <laughs> yeah, so you can tell that they brought this with them and they they mm. use it. So, uh, 2.8, what, what else can I give you on that, this artifact? Uh, you know Is that with weapon. possibility shield? Is that with possibility shield? I don't know. It was. Not. Uh, I guess I can even give us plus one uh, degree of success then to all okay. of us. So you know, yeah. it is basically a bomb. So it it uses oh. the. Sorry, that was an O. City, city, it blows up city blocks of areas. So whatever they're doing, they're going to destroy a large portion of this uh, under, underground hive. Possibly the entire hive itself. How convenient. Well, by taking this, we've rendered their ability to do that away from them. <laughs> Not if they planted multiple. Uh, you, you're you fairly certain there's very few of these artifacts. So, they really oh, wanted this, something blown up. Uh, oh. Which means we can take this. With Heracleides. Why bring an exceedingly rare bomb? Um, down into the heart of a hive, a captured hive city, on a planet hey. that they own. Unless there is sorry, the that internet was broken up again. What did you say, Yelmug? I didn't say anything. I was listening to Karen. Oh, what did you say, Karen? Aaron, turning back on his private vox, turns to Heracleides and says, "Why bring an exceedingly rare explosive device?" into the bowels of a hive, which they control, on a planet that they mostly control and have space supremacy in, unless there is something here they wish destroyed. I think it's less destroyed and more clear the way to find. Possibly. You gonna, way, this... you gonna interrogate them some more? Yeah. Quick, Karnoff, scare them again. Karnoff, ask them where they were going with this device. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
Oh, I, I'll try my th my command thing. Uh Get possibility shield on this. Uh, no. Of course, I'm possibility shields up on everybody right now. Okay, so what's the modifier for that? Plus uh, ten. Still plus it's 10. just a, an extra plus ten on any roll. That's okay. That's not bad. Uh, so he's intimidating, and I'm commanding. Tell me what you were doing with this device and where you were taking it. I take out a frag grenade, pull the pin, and hold it in my hand, and let it explode. And, like, it does nothing to my hand. <laughs> and I mean, there's space marines, too. I don't know if that would really scare them or not. <laughs> I take out the grenade. grenade. <laughs> oh, Chinese Tiberian. I'm sorry that your internet is having a problem, but... <laughs> Give me a second. Can you hear me? Yep. No. What? Okay. Okay. Foolish servants of the Corp Emperor, your grasp is not the depth of our design. The Heart of Furies, blah, blah, blah. As trinket we seize, but it's a tool to means to an end. Uh, we bring the heart for you, not for its own sake, but for to pass to clear a path in the bowels of this rotting hive, dive deeper in this feeble mind can fathom, lies a relic of power far, a relic of power far greater, ancient more than, ancient more than you can comprehend, steeped in the darkness of the true God. A true God. We tells you. Character, it sounds like you read that off of something. I did. I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah, I, he I, read it off of Chat GPT. Exactly. <laughs> I used to gen generate script for you guys. Why not? Makes makes perfect logical sense. Yeah. yeah. Cool. What's their uh, uh, I don't know if armor? Cut onto it, but he's been doing that for everything. Yeah, for everything. No. What's I, their I power? Like a power um, trim, uh, the paint trim, uh, color of their paints. What is the armor of the paint on their power armor? Sorry. This uh, question they're... almost sounded like it was being read off by ChatGPT. <laughs> right. So they're all they're all in red power armor. Red. Okay. Yeah, very bright red. Corn oh, symbols all are, over them. These are our corn goofballs. Yeah. They're the same guys who've been fighting since she landed. Yeah, there's like twenty guys. We've killed forty seven people. Be right back, hold up. <laughs> gotta kill more people. <laughs> anyway, we've got uh, their fancy their fancy grenade. So, uh, at the very least, yes. we could still save the librarians. We'll have slowed them down, and we've gained intel to report back to the Imperium because they're going to need a larger uh, strike force. Man. Because if they need this grenade to get to the artifact. Well, it's going to take them a long time to get to that artifact. Remind, correct me if I'm wrong, but was it not mentioned that there was a in, in, like a warhound or like a knight inside of that city guarding the guarding the like the space marines? Or yeah, was... on the outside. There's on the outside. We're, yeah, we're going underneath everything to pop up on the inside. Oh, because I was thinking there was like one inside for some reason. All right. uh, I mean, th there might. Yeah, th there probably is, but. All right. If that's the case, you still have how many void grenades that I gave you? <laughs> it's gonna make. You like... give me three, and I've used the one, because I think you kept a couple. I kept one inside this with me, 
just in case I need it, I can pull. The but thing. yeah, I use ChatGPT for everything because it makes it uh, random, and it makes it like uh, what's the other word? Other. Other. Immersive. Uh, oh wait, it's fair. It makes it other. <laughs> other. 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 Yeah. Yeah. If that Impartial. Makes sense. Impartial. Thank you. That's that's the word I was looking for. Impartial. Like, what the fuck is Objective. Other? Objective. Impartial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't care. Uh, a machine. So I like it for that reason alone. All right. Well then. Uh, see you so they they though. they basically tell you it's a relic, uh, something down deep below the bowels of the hive city that they're wanting to acquire, and um, with that intimidating command, they tell you that this the damn priest here put up sigil put up the sigil and it's okay. impeding them sigils wait a priest put up sigils that impedes them yeah some sort of uh, corpse emperor uh, priest of some sort has been putting up sigils for god knows how long to hide this they've hid them from the from them for eons they've been searching for it Hence the Black Crusade fleet. Let's be honest. There is no way it would take the Imperium at least a decade to get a strike force big enough to hit this planet again. Yeah. With a thousand vessels. Yeah. But the question now it really is is would we be able to go super deep, so deep that they needed this grenade to clear the way with? Um, in the, like, five hours we have left to get it and then warp out. If we try hard enough. Three hours, 45. You're going to interrogate them to ask why they have the, your your fellow uh, psychers up there? That's a good idea. Intimidate yeah. is... Okay. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. What do you roll? Did you explode another grenade in your hand? Or was it two this time? <laughs> Balance them on top of my sword and then like cut so, them off or something. I don't know. <laughs> they basically they they're basically Ooh. alluding to you that those those we call them uh all sorts of blasphemous names. That those psychers are uh binding something, then they, they can't release it and they want it back. That's all you get. That's all you get from them. They're bind. Those idiots are binding something, and they they're wanting them to release it. That doesn't sound good. Right. So they're doing every means of torture to get to get them to uh, release it. So. Well, we could try and detonate. Set this device to like. And. Delay Eric, Clay, you, your yeah, your character would uh, probably allude to they probably bound uh, uh, entity of some sort. Is it based on his description? And since you're a psyker as well. Right, so, so, so my guys have oh bound something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, sorry these guys. These guys are trying to get him to pop out. Yeah, Virlo yep. has interrogation apparently. My bad. Oh. Nice. So, if we could, we could we could set this thing for time the detonation the explosive device to. Uh, Delay them even longer. I think the Manego. The I think what I want to, what we should do. We can go up and get the psychers. We set that time delay, or just carry it with us, and then when we warp out, we set it off. <laughs> yeah, most likely. That way, we blow up this entire area above wherever they're trying to dig for, That's putting more saying. rubble in their way. Well, obviously, it's also try and cut off the trail a little bit. Yep. Oh yeah, I mean that too, but it should hopefully collapse anything from up top down to below, so it should impede them even more. Yeah, so I say because if we detonate, if we set it for remote detonation down here, everything up top will come down. It takes you like how long? Ten to... minutes or one minute to channel the Infinity Gate? Uh, one minute, I think. Uh, hang on, let me check. Well, won't that kill his psychers? They'd be super dead up there. No, well, oh, I'm not saying dead use dead the right gate, now. get out, and then have a, and then have this thing like put a time chart. I said put a timer on this, so we go up there, get the psychers, and then leave, and it detonates because it's on a timer. 
or we can <clears> just <throat> eat it at the last second as we are about to teleport. Well, I was saying, the lower well, down you detonate it, the more destruction it'll cause because everything's going to collapse down on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whereas if you bring it higher <clears> up, it's an air burst. It doesn't do anything to stuff below ground. Sorry. Uh, Krom's using a little bit of his uh, siege knowledge there. If you want to cause more damage and put more rubble, you want to detonate it lower down. So if right. only going up from here, set it here to detonate, go up, ah. leave. It and it takes it. it takes three turns to uh, open the gate of infinity. Yep. Okay. So uh, look, like look, less than 18 seconds. Okay. Yeah. yeah, looking at that artifact, though, you don't see any visible way of setting it off, though. But you do know it's an explosive, basically. What if it doesn't tr get triggered by an explosive device? What if it's like there's a special way, there's a particular way can be activated? Quick, ask him how to detonate the device. Okay. I, I intimidated them. Oh wait, you're, no. You're again? Or let me let me do that again. Oh, no. <laughs> Actually, you're, asking another, you're asking you're asking another question, so. Let's let, let Virlo do it actually. Hold on. Uh, where is he? Okay, there you go. Uh, Come on, Virlo. Our hopes and dreams lie with you. Oops. God damn it. There you so go. So he just tells you that great sacrifices must be made. That's the only thing it's he's manually to detonated. That's what I'm. <sighs> well, no. Steps in. I mean, there's. There's no way to visibly see it detonate. There's no buttons of any kind you see. There's runes on it. Either that or a ritual. They did say that they're gathering people, so, so they could just be using. Be useful, yeah. So you're gonna oh you intimidate him to ask specifically how to detonate this thing. Basically, more information. Yeah. Yeah, blood sacrifice. Yeah, that's what I thought. Of 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 great mag. Great magnitude. Okay. In other words, the planet. <laughs> mm. Or at least, you know, one hive city kind of a thing. That's why they're bringing the civilians here and whatnot. And other people here. Cool. Well, that means we should definitely take this away Ooh. from here. Isn't yes. there a mode of blood? Yep. That's a blood sacrifice, right? Uh, yep. But how do we get it from up down here? Oh, uh, the trainees kind of speak up and say they, they are building a, a pipeway, it seems. But how well is it built? Like, how much of it is it built? Uh, they said they didn't get a very good look. They said it's heavily guarded. They weren't able to get that close. They were able to see it kind of in the distance. Hmm. Says a uh, direct assault would be suicide. Um, but they are funneling. It looks like they're funneling from above the surface level, from what they gathered. They're down here at this level. But what if we just threw it into the lake of or the the moat of blood on our way out? That is. I mean, a we don't know. Thing. We, we don't know how uh, how quickly it explodes. Yeah. But if they're using the moat of blood as the uh, the catalyst for this thing, just tossing it in their moat from up above would set it off. We can give it to our guy, Guardsman, here. He can do a suicide mission, I guess. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you tell him as much? And no. no. I mean, he's or, a loyalist. Or if we don't know if we can... Well, because it won't do anything down... Uh, up We're just the tossing side. ideas right now. We're not really... We don't even know if it's going to detonate immediately. It might just start slurping up the lake of blood and then take a couple weeks to do it. Yeah. Which Let's see here. Do they might blood. not even have enough blood yet. Yeah. In which case, we should just take the device with us. And if we can't, we don't have enough explosive down here to try and do much damage. I, it, if we can't detonate it, it down here, there's no point trying to detonate it up top. Yeah, the team alludes to you. This thing wasn't that heavily guarded at all. He says there's more than likely more than one of these things, that, but they haven't seen any others. But it looks like they had deployed some teams in the distance that they saw doing something. Do Ram another uh, probably a chain detonation of multiple then. Do another lore check on this grenade to see how it, you know, how much how quickly it activates. Is that what you're doing here, ladies? Yeah. Oh yeah. So, um. 
you know that with the amount of blood that they're gathering, uh, they could set off thousands of these things. So tossing in there would detonate it almost immediately. That's good to know. I mean, at so, the very least, if we detonate the lake, then they have to gather more again. But wait, yeah. if it does it into but, but the... is it like inst but it would be like kind of instantaneous? Yeah, but yeah, you know. Go ahead. So the, if he does it into that like river of blood, uh, can we just get enough blood in some vial? <laughs> because like it basically is gonna, since it's gonna explode so immediately. It needs a great amount of blood. Great uh, sacrifice. Like a moat of, of blood worth. Of Maybe a hundred people. Hundred thousand people. Who knows. Well, if you're gonna get a moat of blood, you need like millions of people. Well, then. if they have, if they have thousands of these things, of course they have a moat of blood, but we don't know what detonates the individual one. I just told you. It, yeah, uh, I your, just your, your character would know throwing in the blood would set it off instantly. Maybe yeah, if no. it's a very large explosion, then it might just take out the rest of the moat of blood with it, which means they won't have enough blood to trigger the rest of the bombs. We all. How big is the explosion? Yeah, we don't know. Uh, but well, we do know that this is supposed to be like city blocks. Yeah, work. level of city yep. blocks. How big's the well, moat? You're getting roughly a gallon of blood per human that they kill. Oh no! <laughs> Think about it that way. The adult adult human yeah, male yeah. has between 1.3 to 1.5 gallons of blood. So Where's they're getting <clears throat> roughly. You know, if they kill 10,000 people, that's roughly 13,000 gallons of blood. How much blood do you think you need for a moat? Much more. They're bringing, like you said, as you guys saw coming in, they're bringing, or your team is telling you, they're bringing shipments of people from around the world. And they cracked the planet as they're, almost as they're trying to get to something now, now that you have all this information. Yeah, so us throwing it into the moat on our way out is our, you know, sending somebody with it into the moat. <clears throat> Guardsmen. <clears throat> you um, need to kill 260,000 people to fill one Olympic size hole. Which, if there's a moat, that means it's a lot more than that. Ooh. Um, <laughs> okay. Secondary idea. They said they were building a pipe network, right? Yep. Do you think there's any way we can uh, plant this thing in the pipe somewhere? A actual when pipe they turn bomb. it on, it detonates, blows up their pipe system, or at least part of it. I mean, that's good. Yeah, if we can hide it, uh, so when they turn on the pipes to pour all the blood. But the bigger question is: Is there just one pipe, or is it? A bunch of pipes, in which case taking out the moat would be the better choice than just one pipe. From what they, the team tells you, they only saw the one massive pipe leading down somewhere. Correct. Another intimidate our interrogation. Okay. Good. How we many are... blood pipes are there? Virlo first. I I keep messing it up. Uh, okay. Oh, that's he tells you just the one, basically, they allude to, that as he's cussing you out, cursing your name. Should, should I, Pick should, should dog, I man, it? all that stuff. And he spits, you know, the at, he bites his lip and spits at you. Oh. And, and it impacts the inside of his uh, helmet, so that's great. And he has no helmet on, they don't have helmets oh, on. Oh, okay. They, the, the, you know, the trainees took almost all their armor off. Uh, since uh, uh, Space Marine's spit is acidic. Acid. Yeah. Yep. He spit acid at you. Can I do Wait, we're looking yeah, dodge. Let's resistance. see. God, why do I keep being part of Well, he dodges it anyways. Uh, Car uh, Virlo will punch him in the face. Okay. I think that's kind of oh, a, a bit too much. Uh, fine, he's, sure. He's he's dead. <laughs> Kills him outright. There's one left. The 
the other one just kind of glares at you. Or glares at Virlo. How do you have so much damage for your unarmed? Plus 21? Yep. What do you have? For me, it's D10 plus 4. Uh, it's just a uh, strength, overall strength. Strength bonus. Yeah. And we've got three hey, you should have the same. Yeah, so you should have the same thing then. Uh, I don't understand that because my bonus is only a 14. Uh, so uh, it's like 6, yeah. then it's times 3, it's 18, and then his power armor bonus is like plus 3 total, and that's 21. Yep, makes sense to me. So you should, you're, yeah, you should do the same to your guy then. Actually, you got another strength bonus with that suit on. I think you added that, right? Yeah, that's the plus. No, three. I never did for the unarmed. That's where I'm like, mm. oh, I mean, I mean, your suit gave you additional strength. It was like what? Yeah, plus those I never mess with that. Oh, okay. Oh. So you should be hitting for like a lot harder. Oh, Almost plus, uh, here. I think I, I think I did this right. Hang on. I'm curious. Yeah, there you go. That makes sense. Okay. Very well. That makes perfect sense to your guy. You have a big fat fucking fist. Smash! Anyways, um, so now what are you guys gonna do at this point? You get you feel like you get enough information from this guy? I have one more idea. Maybe we could turn on their pipe network early before it's finished and drain the moat into the deep chasm that they're channeling it down into. Maybe it sets us other stuff down there early. But it would still be setting the stuff off that they want to set off. Mm -hmm. True. That We're them. assuming they have them set up, though. Yeah, but I feel that getting the blood where they want the blood to go is not only going to help them, but blowing up their pathway to get the blood to the rest of the stuff would be better. Because if we detonate it down the pipes down here, the blood's just going to go down here anyways, and that's where they want it. Well, I think no. I think since they're building pipeways, they're yeah, they're not done with the pipeways. They're concentrated. So. They want to concentrate them in a specific place, and by doing by exploding them, we're just gonna scatter them all around the city, the underhives, which is good, ish. But yeah. We so we just go. We uh, we can drop it in the. The. Who the shit is that? Oh, that's one of their guys over at comms. Hold on. <clears throat> I gotta find my Kermit voice. <laughs> they're they're coming. No no no, they're this is your general. You know you uh General Aka is the guy in charge of the forces above. Oh, okay. Oh. Hey, by the way, the guy in charge of the uh, ground forces is General Kaga. That wasn't in the brief, but it is now. Yep. Saya, we've pushed their forces back. Battle has turned us in our favor. Great. Great voice. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only voice I could think of for a General Akka. General uh, Akka? Right, well, it's a very soft-spoken man, that General Akka. <laughs> but he's a menace on the battlefield. <laughs> no, That's I, I general... believe it. <laughs> What do you think? Go up top, rescue the librarians as planned, and then try and detonate the pipe if we can. Or uh, blow up the moat. Yeah. Sounds good. That's all the information we have for now, at least. Yeah, we're going to proceed with that. Maybe we'll find out something uh, later on, which would change our judgment. We've detected additional reinforcements in band from nearby bases. Not sure how long we can hold. Harry, your assault will buy you as much time as we can. Our titans have been destroyed along with theirs. Ooh, nice. That was not an even trade. We had more. Yeah. 
Well, at least we don't have to deal with them. Yep. Yeah, and the Titans would have been the only thing that would have let the ground forces hold. Uh, have sympathy for them. <laughs> well, at some point, we're going to have to try and evacuate what we can. So, well, if the battle's turned in their favor, it might be a good idea to tell them to start pulling back to withdraw now or in the next hour. If well, they need to last, like, another good five hours. No, we only have three hours and 45 minutes before. Okay, well, they need to last three hours. <laughs> It'll take them at least two hours to even get anything on, on it, the transport. It, it, is that what you're telling them? Like, no, no, I'm saying to Eric Lazer quick, uh, because if we get them to start pulling back at some point, set a rear, rear guard and start pulling back, the enemy forces will think that they're retreating, and there's a good chance they'll start pushing out, which means less for us to deal with. More for them, but it also gives them a chance to actually get more people on transports to evacuate. All right. I suggest pushing that out. At least tell them in 45 minutes to an hour, uh, set a rear guard, start pulling back. Yeah, yeah well, Yomeg, you're in charge. So the Keeper's right. giving you his advice. That's, that's good advice. That is my ancient wisdom for you. Mm -hmm. General, in an hour's time, begin a fighting retreat. Uh, he should, I'm presuming he's linked up with the forces that were on the planet. Uh, any of them that need to, are able to be evacuated, this is going to be their only window. I don't know if the lieutenant's here is uh, hearing this box, I'm presuming not. No, this is a very secure channel. I thought we had them link up, though. They did. I, I don't know if General... So I'll, I'll let... In two different groups. Say again? I'm pretty sure we had General Ara uh, sent their uh, their remnants to this new fighting force. I'm pretty sure we'd already I gave them their sent them communication links. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. they're fight they're fighting. As far as you know, they're fighting. Okay. Uh, yeah, so they'll they'll be able to coordinate. Okay. And then for the rest of them here, may the Emperor rest their souls. I would say exterminatus, but it's already been exterminatus, dude. No, I meant to destroy, like, that would be the ideal solution to destroy it. What's up top is just localize exterminatus on this continent. I don't think exterminatus and localize can be really tied together. Aye, aye, sire! Our la landing zone forward operating base still holds, still, so I will make preparations. I mean, you can do it like so. Basically, an exterminator is just like you remove all stuff in, a, in an area. It's been used a couple times, like orbital I mean, bombardment. I mean, Basi it's basically an orbital bombardment for, on a specific area. Yeah. It's just localize exterminators for all intents and purposes. So I guess then. Uh, you do have a ship with a big ass last cannon in orbit. And the transmission. Yeah. You don't you need to see that saying that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he, he totally does. <laughs> Anderson does. That's exactly. He just did, so he does. Actually, that's a good idea. Is here's what we'll do: when we leave, just have the other ship just uh, use its main weapon on the hive. Are you asking any updates on the ships there, Yelmug? Uh, it's best not to know. After all, we got to get out somehow anyway. So whether they're there or not, we got to leave. No, I mean the ship on the far side that's fighting. The last you heard is fighting ships in orbit. The one with oh. the big ass blast can. You could probably ask the Navy for an update. Uh, again, you there's nothing we can do from here to no, no, assist no, or not is, assist them. In no, what I was way. saying is to tell it, hey, at X time, fire your main weapon at the. Um, oh, God. I can't think of the word. Um, uh, what the is hive. he saying? The moat, the hive? The moat, yeah, specifically the moat, but the hive in general. Is this the right call, channel? Hello? Oh, God. <laughs> Oh my god. This is Praetor Tivir the Cairn of the Black Watch. Resistance fighters here. How's it going, Praetor Crater? He hasn't even said anything. <laughs> you want a pray tater? That's kind of weird, but you know, to each their own. 
<laughs> Idiot guards men. Yeah. What? Yeah, don't it worry says about multiple. it. Don't worry about it. Hey, hey who was pre tater? <laughs> no, he's praying to the tater. He sounds like a filthy heretic, is what I'm hearing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, resistance fighters are breaching the walls with them fancy guardsmen from the sky. I'm letting this play out for right now. Oh, oh yeah. I will tell them the Praetator says hello. Which section of wall are they piercing, guardsmen? The part with all the holes in it. The, the, you know, the wall that's outside. From the north, east, south. Not, not from the inside. From your sister's side. <laughs> no, still from the outside. Now, what if I told you before about getting other people's sisters involved with this? You shut up now. <laughs> Who was this not? Not you again. Cardinal Directions, you idiot. Yes, that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> Directions? Well, that Which sounds dirty. I don't want nothing to do with that dirty nonsense you're talking about. <laughs> Who's on this channel? Hello? End. <laughs> <laughs> What you want? I want some hay. I'm hungry. Some hay. <laughs> How many people are on this goddamn channel? Oh, okay. So you guys ending the comms with these guys? <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm permanent blocking them. You <laughs> set that user to blocked and. Uh... Cardinal just like kind of smacks his helmet once with his fist and like. It, yeah, and... it's over general general comms. The same comms you're using to talk to that general. So obviously they're just changing the dial and dialing in some random shit. You're thinking. All right, I'm gonna do a thing and. Uh... Think. I'm now going to the next channel. Got it. Well, at least I am. <clears throat> What's the commissar doing? Uh, so. Why is he shooting everybody? We're doing our jobs. I don't understand. Blech. He's just screaming, "Do better!" And, and screaming, "Skill issue." So you just hear that, uh. The not dead chaos space marine cursing out, spitting in all directions. I have an idea. I getting... have an idea. We put the vox to the chin to the comms with the guardsman, and we put it on his head. It'll drive oh. him insane. But he's already yeah. insane, so it, it, it won't might really drive do him insane, and then insane again. Oh, oh he failed. I, I just I shoot him. <laughs> yeah, shoot see, him. I, I could just I I say save your rounds. I could just stab him in the head. Got it. Either way, he's dead. Uh, let's uh, start making our way for your librarians. Agreed. Where's, where's the lieutenant? Where? And, uh, 
I think that's it for me to the day, guys. Yep, <laughs> it's we'll end it here. Yeah, we'll end it here. Timer. It, was a good, it was a good stopping point, I, I thought. Yeah. So, 1500 like I told uh, the other guy. Okay, 1500 uh, <clears throat> The good? other guy? Damn. Poor Cobler. Yeah, that one guy, you know. Cobler. The guy. guy. What about so. <laughs> He's just there, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he exists. He exists, yeah, you know. Oh, oh. man. I thought it was a good high note there. Night. High note. Yeah. All right, well, again, I will talk to you all next week. All right, yeah, I'll yeah, finish yeah, recording fun, here. Guys. And see you all next week. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed Peace. that.